Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is on how to produce serial interrupted functions via USB series port of Raspberry Pi Pico. Without any further delay, let's get started. First and foremost, we are going to write a hello world program in C, which will produce a serial output from Raspberry Pi Pico onto our host machine. For that, we'll use terminal emulator, whether it be Teratum, Putty or even Arduino Serial Monitor. If you don't know then the Arduino IDE support for Raspberry Pi Pico is already out. Do not forget to check that video out too. Let's set our prerequisites and get straight into programming. First of all, we'll create a project folder for our program. I'll name it as Serial and then we'll need to open up the Visual Studio code. For that, we need to first turn on developer command prompt, run it as administrator as usual provide windows permission and type in the command code this will open up your visual studio code preset all right let me close my previous workspace and add the new folder which we just created to our workspace that is cd all right once you have the folder right click on it and create new file this file will be our c program so I will name it as serial.c. Alright. Let me brief you out the code. First of all, we have included the standard Pico library. Then we have included the STD IO library for standard input output. And then we need to initialize the STD init all function under the main. Then we are just printing hello world inside an infinite loop, having provided a delay of 1000 milliseconds. Then we have provided a return zero which is not required but i'll win it all right we have a problem that it has not detected the information provided for that come to pico downloads directory go to pico sdk external and copy this cmake file in your project folder provide permission come to the visual studio now we need to create a cmake file for that create a new file Name it as cmake lists.txt. Okay, I think I'm not going too fast, but if you are not familiar with this environment, I already made a very descriptive and useful video on Raspberry Pi Pico's C, C, SDK, and creating a project using Visual Studio Code. Go check that out. It would be quite helpful if you are not familiar with this environment till now, because I have explained the use and purpose of these tools in those videos. All right, let's write the schema file. To save your time, I've already written the code. Uh, let me just explain you in brief about the schema file. First of all, we need to provide a minimum version of schema. In my case, it's 3.19. Then we need to import the Pico SDK, the file which we just copied from the Pico external directory. We need to provide a command for that. Then we need to create a project. For that, we need to write a command which is project within which we pass the argument as serial, which is the file name we have created then provide an underscore, then write project. All right, then we need to initialize the Pico SDK by this part, by the command Pico underscore SDK underscore in it. Then we add executable, which is hello world. We want to produce the executable hello world from a single source file, which is serial.c. Then target link libraries command would link all the necessary libraries, which we have used we have used two libraries, which is Pico standard library and stdio.h. We need to only provide the link to standard library. It, the other one is already integrated. Once we have done that, we need to save all the files. But this won't do the job because by default, if you see, let me explain you. Before building the program, we need some concepts and two more commands in order to get this done. The standard input output support for Pico is designed such that the SDK runtime packages a lightweight printf library linked as Pico underscore printf. All right. Leaving all the technicalities out of the way, the most important point to consider here is that if we do not provide any additional command in the CMake right now, the output, the serial output given by the Pico will be directed towards the UART pins, the default UART pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico which is GPIO 0 and 1, which is the TX and RX pins respectively. If we want to direct this output toward 
USB CDC port of the Raspberry Pi Pico, we need to provide a specific command for that. So let us take a look at it and then we'll connect the Pico. Okay. Let me zoom in this part for you. Here you can see there are two commands. The first one is for USB. The second one is for UART. I need to disable the UART. For that, I have provided the target name and given zero, which indicates disabled. Similarly, for the command pico underscore enable underscore stdio USB, the target file is enabled by hello world and then providing as one. Fine. Now let us just save. Fine. Now let us save all the files and proceed to build it. For that, we need to go and change this configuration from no kit selected to GCC for ARM non EAB 10.2.1. Build the necessary files. All right, it has started to build. All right, once the build is finished, let's load the program on your Raspberry Pi. Pico will press the boot select button and connect it to your host. We need to drag and drop our program onto the RPIRP2 device. Go to the build and copy the hello world.uf2 file over the Raspberry Pi Pico. All right, once we have uploaded the program on our device, now we need to open up the emulator and set it up so that we can observe the output. Fine. I have only a single COM port connected. Press on OK. And it is producing the hello world output. Fine. So this one's working. There is something interesting to show you if you use the real dumb. Let me open it. Alright. You can see it is not only writing or producing the output as hello world, it is providing uh, another uh, or another character which is CRLF. This is due to a special feature in SDK which provides a CRLF which is nothing but carriage return line feed towards uh, the end of every output that you produce uh, for a better display on terminal emulator. This can be disabled during runtime or can be completely removed as well. Fine. Let us also check out how we can produce this output on Arduino IDE. Alright. We can also see the output on Arduino's serial monitor. Open the Arduino serial monitor. It says the COM6 is not available. For that, go to tools, select the COM port to be as COM5 which or whichever COM port your device has been connected to then go to tools hit on serial monitor and here you can see the hello world output is printed fine now let us move on to take some input from the device and provide it to the Raspberry Pi Pico and let it react according to the input provided for that we'll use the serial input functionality let's take a look at it Hey guys, sorry to interrupt but it is important, 96% of you viewers are still not subscribed. Why? Subscribe to the channel and help me reach my first thousand subscribers. Like the video if you found it informative and share it among your friends. Until next time, let's get straight to the point where we left. Fine. Next up we have user input controlled output LEDs example. What I will do here is I will, okay, come closer. So what I have done is, I have simply provided three LEDs red yellow and green and this pin over here is connected to the ground of the raspberry pi pico as we know that every third pin from each corner is the ground pin and if you carefully observe the pinout diagram you would get to know that i have connected the three leds onto four let me bring it close to you onto the four nine and number 12 pins of raspberry pi pico which are respectively the GPIO 2, 6 and 9. So that is what I have mentioned in the code. As you can see that I have slightly modified the code. I have introduced three constant integers as red, yellow, green for the respective LEDs and assigned them their GPIO pin values, which is 2, 6 and 9. Next, I have initiated the GPIO pins and set their direction as up. I have initiated a variable char as input by using the function 
get car i will take the input from the terminal arduino or teratom then the command or the character taken whether it is red green or yellow with r g and y will get compared with each case of if else statement then whatever is the match case the following output will be generated the led will be turned on the display would say that it is turned on and as soon as 2 seconds are over because i have given the timer delay has to be 2000 milliseconds then after 2000 milliseconds it will turn off and it will display in the terminal as well that it got turned off finally if we provide a wrong input like any other input other than the provided ones then which will also be produced on the output screen fine now let us build the file i have simply modified my hello world program if you want to create a new project you can do it as well after it gets built we will transfer the file over to the raspberry pi pico hope you guys can see it clearly let me first input a random value like j so here it says wrong input fine let us enter the alphabet r as you can see it produced the output led red is turned on the led was turned on for 2 seconds i mean 200 2000 milliseconds then led red is turned off all right so next we'll go for green as you can see the green led is turned on it is also displayed on the teratom fine lastly we will use the yellow as you can see yellow led was turned on and is turned off and if you enter any other alphabet other than rgy it will return wrong input so that's it for this video guys hope you found this video helpful and if you did you know what you have to do i've tried to keep the video as short as possible but without losing any description and if you have any opinions regarding future videos or even suggestions towards making of this video do comment down below and until next time see you soon bye bye